Hi guys, today I will be sharing my way or my take on how to make buko pie. For the ingredients, for the crust, we need two and a half cups of plain flour, one teaspoon of vinegar, half a teaspoon of salt, one egg, half a cup of cold butter, and 113 grams or half a cup of cold butter that it's that is cut into cubes. You can do this process using a food processor or you can just use two knives to um, do the cutting of the butter. So I combined the flour and the salt. Now I'm adding the cold butter. It is important for the butter to be cold so the crust will be very um, flaky. So each time I add the ingredients, um, I pulse the um, food processor. Now I'm adding the one teaspoon of vinegar. Then I'm gonna add the egg. Finally, I'm gonna add the water a little at a time. Check the consistency. It needs to come together. But you don't want to add too much water that the dough will be very sticky. So at this point, the dough is ready. This dough is really um, versatile. You could use it for, to make empanada as well. So now I'm just going to um, gather the dough to form it and then divide the dough into two. I'm going to cover this dough with a um, cling wrap and flatten it into a disc. Now we're going to put this in the fridge while we move on to the next step. So I've got half a kilo of young coconut in here. As much as possible, use this type of young coconut, like the big chunks, not the grated ones, because this makes a better texture. One eighth teaspoon of salt, one egg, half a teaspoon of vanilla, but vanilla is optional. Um, this is one fourth cup of water at the start, but we're gonna add another one fourth cup of water again. I'll show you later. Three fourths cup of sugar, half a cup of flour, um, half a cup plus one tablespoon of powdered milk. So the next step is very easy. Combine the powdered milk, the flour, and the sugar. Give it a mix. We're also gonna add the one eighth teaspoon of salt. So we're just gonna set this aside for a while. So there's the um, one fourth cup of water. I added the vanilla and then I cracked in one egg. We're just gonna mix this together. And then we're gonna add this to the um, dry ingredients. Give it a mix. At this point, you can see that the water is not enough. We're gonna add another one fourth cup of water. So all in all, the water is um, half a cup. Once the water is all in, we're just gonna um, mix this until everything is well combined and then we will set this aside. After 30 minutes of our dough resting in the fridge, we're ready to roll it. So I'm just gonna use two um, Cling wrap just to make the rolling process easy and a rolling pin as well. So we're just gonna roll the dough about one eight millimeter thickness and it needs to fit the um, pie pan with a little extra overhanging. So uh, as you can see like the dough will fit my um, pie pan. So I'm just gonna remove the top layer of the cling wrap and then flip the dough upside down. Make sure that there's no air pockets. Use 
using a fork we just gotta prick some holes and then we're just gonna cut the excess dough we don't need a lot of dough overhanging At this point we're gonna add about two tablespoon of the or three tablespoon of the um, pie filling and then add the half a cup of young coconut meat or buho just arrange it so nothing is sticking out and then add the rest of the buko pie filling and then we're gonna cover this with the other half of the dough that I roll it the same procedure as we did before if you find that your dough is getting a little bit sticky, you can stick it back in the freezer or fridge just to firm it up a little bit. And now I'm cutting the excess dough. And then seal the dough. And then at this point, you can do any decorations that you want on the side. I'm just pulling and tacking. You can just use fork by the way your oven should be preheated at 170 degrees celsius using a fork prick some holes on the top just like so I crack one egg, beat it a little bit, and then we're just gonna, using a pastry brush, we're just gonna spread this on top of the buko pie, just to make our buko pie um, golden brown. And then we will bake this in a preheated oven at 170 degrees Celsius for about 45 to minutes to an hour. Just make sure that the bottom of your, um, Boko pie or the bottom crust is cooked and this is what it looks like after baking let it cool down a little bit before transferring it into a box or a serving plate and this is what it looks like um, this is slightly warm at this point but we're ready to cut it don't cut it once it's come out of the oven because you're gonna risk um the pie is not yet setting and this is the finished product and this is what it looks like inside this is so good it's not overly sweet i can promise that you're gonna like this again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again next week bye